was 1996 when I first came to New York, and um, and I've always been uh, interested in art and uh, became a graphic designer by trade. You know, eventually I got a job here after about a year and a half of you know trawling the streets and going out every night, and um, and stayed here for seven years and worked in the advertising industry and worked a lot, worked with type a lot. And interestingly enough, I was working on a big Kmart project. Um, about their rebranding while I was working at um, Chite Day here. And uh, while I was mucking around with that font that they had chosen, I realised that it had these great korus in it and that it looked a lot like Māori stuff. Some of the patterns and the designs in Māori art are so sublime. They're so, as a graphic designer, kind of thought to mimic that would be great without copying it directly. We did start working on this while I lived here. Your challenge to think about your heritage when you're here because it's such a great mix of people. I was kind of forced to think, oh, well, who, well, who am I actually and where do I come from? I'm a white, I'm a Pākehā New Zealander and not particularly proud of some of that, um, some of the history, you know, in New Zealand and I kind of um, feel quite proud about the Māori culture. My friends and I, the graphic designer friends that I've got here, we would muck around a lot with, with Māori stuff. To play with it was, um, was natural in that way and we just kind of crave it actually because it kind of felt like that was the defining culture of the land that we came from really. People can be quite defensive of anybody but Māori um, messing with things that are very old and very dear to them and they have a, very, a whole um, a set of um, values and meanings. I'm not trying to just mimic those figures. They're all prefaced with Pākehā because it's from my point of view. I'm not Māori. There's a little bit of irony in them. It's expressed that as a culture, Pākehā culture is mostly about money and wealth as opposed to um, spirituality. There's the string of artists that, and you know, through history that have. Um, played with that stuff like Gordon Walters and I know he was criticised. Well again it's that thing about identity, so where are you from and where are you allowed to feel like you you come from. I think there's a place for Pākehā people that feel good about Māori culture, you know, to, to have their two cents worth too because um, you know, I'm think, feeling very supportive of that culture. These are um, prints on paper. And uh, the, the whole, I guess the whole show is um, stencil, stencil based, well not all of it but a lot of it is and they were designed on the computer, that's you know the pound symbol is the kind of basis for that, of this, um, of that figure which is the tanifa. I'm very um, novice learner of Te Reo Māori and I'm soaking up, my Sam Angus is um, at a, in, in a bilingual unit at, this, at Newton Central School in, in Auckland and so he's learning Māori and I am too and uh, you know, I'm just trying to soak up as much of the culture as I can. I'm learning but it, it's slow, you know, life's busy. This was a design for, a, this is a screen print and um, it was something I designed on the computer after doing a screen printing class and um, yeah, I'm a very keen fisherman and um, as I was saying to my friend Andy, I think you know, fishing these days is interesting because there's less and less fish to go around and that's basically because big factory ships are just harvesting the hell out of them and they don't really care that, um, that they seem to be diminishing, they're just taking the money now and that's that, so that kind of ties in with the whole theme and uh, so it's just a Pākehā version of it. Uh... The flag, yeah, I feel passionate about the flag because, um, well, I think it should be changed, you know, and somebody, there was a movement to change the flag and they were trying to get a referendum going and the place in Wellington was doing that and uh, that was okay, and they couldn't get enough, but they couldn't get enough signatures. And somebody said to me, "Well, maybe that's because there isn't a flag out there that people really like. You know, like what's what's first, the referendum to change it, or the flag that you want to change it to? You know, so I, at the first way didn't work. So this is my idea of what the flag should be. You know, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, but just kind of bend it to what reflects us better as a country these days."